Hi there, welcome back. Today we are going to show you an interesting alternative to OneDrive. If you stay to the end of this video, you will see how we install this app in our Proxmox LXC container using a Docker Compose file to install it in Docker. The instructions for this video can be found in our blog. Have a look down below for the link. You need to connect to your LXC container and you need to open the console. However, we've already done that, so there we are. And then we create a folder inside our stacks folder. We use this command to create us a folder inside our stacks folder. And now we open that folder. Now that we have opened the folder, we will create our Docker Compose file. So it's compose.yaml. In our instructions, we have a Compose file. So open our instructions. Here is the Compose file. Copy this. Paste this in here. Now that you've done that, you need to save it. Control S and Control X. And then before we run it, we have a secret that we use. We haven't found this on many channels. So you say Docker Compose Pull. After that, we then will run Docker Compose App Dash D to start it. So it's Docker Compose App Dash D. We want to start it in detached mode. This is going to take a while. First of all, we have included the CLAM antivirus. Although we are running this in Linux and there are very few Linux viruses, you could be uploading a file that has been infected with a virus on your Windows machine and the CLAM AV antivirus is there to scan that file. We now go to our instructions. And at the bottom of the instructions, you will find the URL. So you would open it on your server IP address port 3000. We will open it on this URL as we have already registered this domain name for our Proxmox Alexi container. As we mentioned earlier, when you start it, you will get this error. You need to wait a few minutes and then come back. Let's see if it's ready. After a few minutes, the error will disappear and then you will have an option to configure the server. Click on that and then it will take you to this screen here. The first thing we want to do is to change the name of the server. We've decided we'll call it my OneDrive alternative. And you can also change the port, but leave that as you are running this from a Docker Compose file. So don't make a change there. And we show the home page. That's fine. We don't need to change anything. And then save that. And now it's called my OneDrive alternative. The next thing we want to do is to look at shares. Select this option. And here you can specify the duration that a file may live on your server. If you specify it as zero, it means that the files will live on forever. But you may want to make them a year or six months or whatever. So that way, the software can clean up the files 
automatically. This is the chunk size. Now, it depends on how big the files are that you're going to upload. If you're going to upload video files, you probably want to make this 100 megabytes so that it uploads 100 megabytes at a time. And after 40 of these chunks, you will have the video uploaded. We're going to leave it like this as this is just a demo and then save it. Now, if you want, you can use this to host your own SMTP server, or you can use this to connect to your own SMTP server. We're not going to do that. And then here you can also specify if you want to use storage, cloud storage. We are not going to use cloud storage, so we're going to leave everything as it is. And then click the Go Back button. Now the first thing you want to do is to create users. So click on this. We've already created Joe Blogs. Let us create a user Jane Doe. We'll use JD at Gmail. This is a nice strong password. And then create the user. And there we have Jane Doe and Joe Blogs. Then click this, let's go back to administration. We've done the administration, we've done configuration. The only thing we have to do now is to upload a file. So click here. There's two ways this works. You can drag and drop files here, or we can navigate to a file with this. It's a picture. Star Wars. The file has now been uploaded. Now that we've uploaded the file, the next thing we can do is to share it. So you can click on this button here. And specify how long this is going to live. So I'm going to make this share available for a day. Now get the link. This is the link. Copy this. And you email this to a person. And that person will put it into their browser, connect to your server. And you can see now the file is ready for download. As you can see, this is a very simple yet very effective alternative to OneDrive. We trust you found this video interesting. Please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And now we will greet you in four languages. And if you would like us to greet you in your language, leave us a comment and tell us what language you speak, and we will greet you in your language the next time. And with that we say, Baie danki tot sins. Grazie mille a me, ciao. Yasu sinaderfe. Domo arigato tomadachi sayonara.